Piano Roll in FL Studio provides access to an incredible array of MIDI processing tools. These are accessed by pressing on the Piano Roll menu and navigating to the Tools submenu. Alternatively, you could click on the Tools button in FL Studio 5.02 and onwards and select the tool you require. Or use one of the associated key commands. These tools include editors for affecting the quantization, legato and chop settings of the notes in your sequence, and other tools provide more creative controls such as the arpeggiate, flam and strum tools. The quick legato tool will quickly apply a legato, i.e. continuous notes effect to your sequence. Use this to smoothly sustain notes into subsequent notes. The articulate tool gives you greater control over the lengths of the notes. The options menu provides three quick note length presets, staccato, portato and legato. The multiply knob will increase or decrease the note lengths by a percentage amount. If the Use Lengths button is activated, this will take into account each note's unique length, otherwise the lengths will be adjusted uniformly to the same value. The Variation knob provides random variations to the length of the notes. Click the Tick button once you are happy with the result, or click the Dialog Close box to cancel out. The Quick Quantize tool will quantize the note starts and lengths according to the Snap to Grid settings in the Piano Roll. The Quantize dialog will give you more extensive control over quantization. When you open it, a red grid will show on the piano roll to indicate the quantization grid. Choose a groove template to apply a specific type of feel over your sequence. Start time controls the strength of the quantization imposed. Extreme left will keep the original start times. Extreme right will impose 100% of the quantize amount. Sensitivity controls how close to the grid a note's start and end time falls before it is quantized. Turn the wheel to the right to increase sensitivity, thus quantizing more of the note events. Duration operates similarly to the start time except it controls the strength of quantization over the note length. The quantization combo box selects the quantization mode. All modes quantize the start time. See the FL Studio documentation for greater detail on the use of these modes. The level settings at the bottom of the box allows you to mix the original note properties with those contained in the group template properties. If the template contains no note properties, the knobs will do nothing. Quick Chop will chop all notes in the selection according to the currently selected snap settings. While Chop allows you to select a chop groove template. Time Multiplicator will set a value by which the note length will be divided. Absolute Pattern will apply the template according to the tempo grid. If it is off, then it will be applied according to the original start time of the note. The levels apply the same control explained in the quantization tool. There are a lot of groove templates supplied with the chopper. Exploring these will help give you a sense of just how powerful the chopper can be. The Arpeggiate tool will apply an arpeggiation effect to your sequence. This is different to the real-time arpeggiator contained in the channel settings of a generator. Here I have a melody, and I'm applying the arpeggiator to it. Initially, just the default arpeggiator template is being applied. The options provide a huge range of variations that control how the original notes interact with the groove template. Range will alter the pitch range the arpeggiator will spread the notes over, and Time Multiplicator will divide or stretch the notes by integer amounts. Gate will shorten the note lengths to get a gating effect. The various combo boxes provide different alternatives to the way each parameter affects the sequence. Experiment with other arpeggiator templates to get a better idea of what you can do with it. Also check the FL Studio documentation for greater detail on the arpeggiator tool. Strum dialog will apply a guitar chord strum effect to block chords that you have in your sequence. By shifting the timing and velocity of notes in a chord, it provides a much more realistic guitar playing simulation. Alter the time controls to control the amount of time shifting as well as the acceleration of the strum. Alter the velocity controls to increase or decrease the volume of subsequent notes in the strummed chord. And switch on preserve end to keep the end time of the affected notes. 
The end section lets you shift the end time of the chord notes. Turn on the alternate direction to change the direction of the strum for each subsequent chord. This simulates up and down strokes played on a guitar. The flam tool allows you to quickly apply flam effects to notes. Flamming is an effect used by drummers to create a double drum hit effect, whereby they play a mini hit shortly before the main hit. The options menu provides a range of flam presets, all of which are very useful. Time sets the length of note added before the main hit. And velocity sets the velocity of the added note. The absolute button controls how the time knob calculates the start time of the added note. With the button on, absolute time, the time will be calculated in milliseconds. With it off, relative time, the time will be calculated relative to the tempo grid. The before button sets whether or not the added note will be placed before the original note start time. The limit tool allows you to limit the range of notes played within the sequence. It also allows you to quickly transpose parts by altering the root key of the sequence. The limit range is defined by dragging the light orange bar across the notes on the piano keyboard you want to use. When you first open the limit tool, the limit range will be set to the range of pitches in your sequence. As you reduce the upper end of the range or increase the lower end, you will progressively remove notes that fall outside the range. If you have wrapped to bottom switched on, the notes will remain but will be transposed to the highest or lowest notes in the current range. To transpose, right click on a new note to move the bright orange root key. The transposition result will be the inverse of the note you right clicked. So if you move the root key up a semitone, you will move the transposition of the sequence down a semitone. Quickly change the octave of the sequence by right clicking on a C note above or beyond the default C5. Reset back to the originally defined range by clicking on the reset button. 